Hey guys, welcome back to our farm vlog today. We've got a little bit of a project list to go through, so we're going to do some, some different projects today, and uh, just thought it'd be kind of fun to walk through some of them. And then the uh, last thing we're going to do today is we're going to end, we're going to put our, uh, our little pig spouts on a, on a watering can, um, and we're going to get that set up for our pig. So I'm going to show you all exactly what we're doing there. Uh, we're going to talk about a few mistakes that we have already know we're going to make with it, but we're going to go ahead and build it anyways because we know we need to get it done. Pass that. We'll go ahead, we're going to put some new three-prong uh, so, um, uh, three plugs on, uh, on some of our tools because we broke off the grounds on some of them, uh, specifically our air compressor and our uh, chop saw. And uh, then I think we're going to do this outlet, but I'm not sure we're going to get to this today. So our, we need to install an outlet for the garage door opener that's right there uh, because it's just been running off an extension cord. So we're going to put this outlet up there, uh, but I'm not sure this is going to happen today. And then the last thing is we got a tube one of the tires and a little garden cart so the kids can use it for doing the firewood so we're gonna get that done today too so stay with us we'll show you how to do all this crap <laughs> Pulled our nut off the center, pulled this out, and now we've got this all ready to go. So this one's already tubed, so we're not tubing an old tire or anything like that. Um, it's already it's already got the tube in there. For some reason, it's a three quarter inch socket to pull the castle nut off the center, uh, but uh, for the uh, for the rest of this, it's all on the uh, on metric stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and pop on here, and uh, let's go ahead and get get this all apart, and uh, then we'll show you all how to put this new tube in. All right, so now we can take this and you can shove it down in there. And like I said, if you have some some type of grease, um, a uh, anything very simple works. Uh, but it does help to get it down in there. But you certainly don't have to have it. Um, I have some, just not particularly handy. So we're not going to go get it and try to use it. But uh, but it does help sometimes to, to grease that just to get it to slide in there a little bit better. The next best thing that I do is we're going to hook up. The air compressor here, or your bike pump, or whatever it is that you have. I know these are just little garden tires. And then we're going to inflate that a little bit, and that's going to seal it all the way around and get it in there to where we can actually put this back in without pinching it down. Same thing as the lug nuts on your tires. We're going to tighten it down in our star pattern. Alright, next project, we're going to work through these and put a, uh, a new three prong on some of our tools. Uh, I always cut it off just enough to leave me a little pigtail here. This is only so if I get confused on the wiring, I can dissect this thing and actually run back through it if I get confused on the coloring. So let's go ahead and slice the case open here. So pretty much standard is black is going to be your hot, white is going to be your neutral, green is your ground. Now let's take our plug apart okay so you'll see back here we have a silver screw and a gold screw and then our green screw at the bottom green is ground silver is neutral gold is hot Now we'll go ahead, tie these all back together, and to finish, hook our clamp down. All right, guys, that finishes that up. Let's go work on this pig feed. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start and do our pig waterer. And uh, what we got is we got four of these little pig spouts, and here I'll show you what they look like right there. Pig bites in and squirts water out. Now, the way this works is we're gonna come here at the bottom, and we want it high enough up that the pigs can come in here and get it without a base on this. But eventually I'm going to put a plastic pallet on the bottom of this so that way I can move it around the field um, and, uh, and move it with the tractor. But uh, we, we, we want, so we want it to be able to work both ways for right now. Now, 
the back side of this is possibly going to be up against a barn or a fence or whatever, so I don't want it like uh, I don't want one on the back side. So I'm going to put one over here, one over here on this side, and then put two here like that. Now, um, the one mistake that we made with this one is the pig feeder or the, the watering barrel that we got has a permanent top, so this one doesn't have a removable top. So if y'all do this, you want to get one of the ones that has a clamp on lid, and that way you can pop that lid off. You can really get down in there, and what you can see on these is that they're threaded and then you can jump on and uh, and actually hook a uh, hook a nut onto the back side of it put two um, rubber washers on there and get that good and nicely sealed and we're going to do this a little bit differently because this is what we got to work with and so what we're going to do when we put this in is we bought some uh essentially jb weld but it's it's a loctite epoxy and uh we're gonna take this Loctite epoxy, and this is a gel type, so it's a little bit thicker, and we're gonna work that in around there, and then we're gonna let it solidify, and we're gonna go ahead and paint this barrel real nice, so that way uh, we can keep the UV off of it, it keeps it from deteriorating over time, um, and, uh, and then we should be all set. So let's go ahead and start and get this all measured out from the bottom, and none of these have to be exact, guys, it's just a pig water. Now the one thing is, is I didn't want to use my spade bit on this, and that's simply because the spade bit is uh, is just a touch bigger than this. All right, so that looks like that's going to work actually pretty perfect. So now we'll take our Loctite here. So essentially, what we did is we made the hole just barely big enough so that it kind of creates its own threads on its way in. I guess I didn't realize when I bought this one that this one doesn't have a mixing nozzle on it. So make sure you get something with a mixing nozzle. Makes it a lot easier. By the way, make sure you guys have your stuff to mix this, your little putty knives and everything. I completely forgot to get those at the store, which is just really, really inconvenient. Because then you end up using something like a stick or a screwdriver and you get this crap on your screwdriver and sticks don't work that well anyways. Uh, so before anyone goes crazy with the fact that we're painting it very poorly, we're only painting it just to give it a little bit of UV protection, and we had the paint laying around. If I didn't have the paint already, I wouldn't even be doing it, because I'm not that worried about it. The barrel doesn't cost that much, that if in 15 years it cracks from UV damage, uh, that it would be even uh, that expensive to replace. So we'll uh, go ahead, and like I said, we're just going to get a little bit of paint on this, just to give it some, some UV protection. Okay guys, there you have it. Our pig water is all done. Um, the reason we painted it again was just to give it a little bit of UV protection um, and we had the paint. If we were really going to worry about doing it properly, we'd make sure we used a, uh, an approved paint for painting some type of plastic like that. As well, we'd obviously scratch it up, prime it. We'd probably go ahead and use a paint spray. It'd be a big different process. All we wanted to do is give it a little bit of UV protection. It's a, it's a $15 barrel, so it's not that big a deal. And like I said, the only reason I did it is because I had the paint laying around. Um, but uh, hopefully those valves should hold. We did, like I said, we got a nice bite on them, uh, putting them in there so they kind of self threaded themselves going into, uh, into the plastic there. Those plastic sidewalls are pretty thick, so hopefully that gives it a little bit of durability and, uh, and it'll make those hold on there as the pigs kind of tug on them and we don't lose our water. 
Um, if that doesn't work, like I said, next step is we'll buy one with a, with a regular top on there so we can unclamp it and reach down in there and actually put a nut on the back side of those. Hopefully this will work. Uh, if you all have any questions, shoot me an email, leave it in the comments, whatever. Let me know what you think about this. If you have any suggestions or upgrades, anything that you all have done differently, uh, certainly appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the farm blog today. Uh, we'll be, like I said, we'll be getting some more videos out uh, and hopefully doing one a week from here on out. So thanks again for watching. Check us out, Ironside Ranch, uh, Facebook, and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Thanks.